Hey guys, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. In today's nail video, Hannah will be reviewing a new nail art tool for creating ombres and gradients. We thought it would be fun to test this tool out for you guys to see if it actually works. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming nail art tutorials. Hi, it's Hannah, so let's get started. First of all, this tool has two sponge sides. One is more flat, while the other one has a slight pointed tip. It also comes with four replacement sponges. So I'm just going to start with a base coat, then white polish for the base color. Then I'll be applying liquid latex around the nail to help protect the skin. I'm going to apply white and pink polish to the sponge just like I do with a regular makeup sponge. Then sponge the first layer onto the nail and... Okay, so the first layer came out a little wonky just because I wasn't used to working with this tool yet. So for the second layer, I made sure to line up the sponge properly on the nail and roll it from one side to the other first, then carefully dab to blend the colors. And I was actually pleasantly surprised at how it turned out, not bad at all. I noticed some small pieces of sponge did transfer onto the nail, but top coat should be able to conceal that. So now of course I'm going to remove the latex and clean up with polish remover and a brush. Now the question is, can I remove the polish from the sponge without ruining it so it can be reused? I filled up a little space with acetone and then pressed the sponge until it was clean. I also dabbed it onto a paper towel to dry it out as much as possible. So far so good, it removed all the polish, but I did notice that the sponge expanded a bit as you can see comparing it to one of the replacement sponges, but I don't think that's too much of a negative. So now I'm going to try the more pointed tip to see if there's any difference. For this, I'm using acrylic paint which I love to use when doing ombre nails. Acrylic paint blends so seamlessly which makes for a great ombre and makes it much easier. This ombre looks really good too, and the different tip didn't seem to matter. Once you remove the liquid latex, all you have to do to clean up is use some water and a brush, which is another plus to using acrylic paint. No remover needed. You also clean the sponge with just water as well. The aqua color stained it a little bit, but all the paint was removed quickly. This side expanded a bit too. So I decided to see how the other side was doing, and well, the sponge totally shrunk and it's just all deformed and hard. When I press on it, it doesn't have that spongy feeling anymore. So it looks like you will only be able to use a sponge once if you're using regular polish, unlike when you use acrylic paint, which will get you multiple uses. I also wanted to see how this would work for a glitter fall design. As you can see, it transferred the glitter really, really well, so this is great for this type of design or if you want to cover the entire nail. Be sure to apply a glossy top coat to smooth out any lumps and bumps, and don't forget cuticle oil if your cuticles start to dry out like mine did. So I would give this tool 4 out of 5 stars because it did give me really good results, plus having a handle with a round, smaller sponge felt more precise and easier. I'm taking away 1 star because some of the sponge did transfer a little and you will have to keep purchasing replacement sponges if you use regular polish and it seems like you can't just order the sponges alone. So that's it for this video. If you'd like to see more videos on Q Polish, click these boxes and click this circle here to subscribe to Q Polish for a new video every week. If you'd like to check out my personal nail channel, click this circle here. Thanks for watching!